action? Oh my gosh, from one nightmare to another! Oh yeah! Oh my god! the kendo scream from Resident Evil 2 and then the violins and stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to another episode of Three Random Games. It is that game show where we go ahead and check out three random games from the internet or within the confinements of this singular video. Now, I don't know if the algorithm just decided to give me a second chance or if this was actually the response to the less edited stuff, but it's kind of got me curious anyway. I really enjoyed the flow of the last Three Random Games episode where, you know, I still did the editing, but I took it a little bit more chill. I'm going to try the same formula again for this episode. I got three pretty cool games and I want to get going with these things. You like this episode, guys? I think you know exactly what to do. Let's go ahead and get this. Oh, hey. This sounds kind of somber, you know? Alright, I feel bad for this kid now. I see you with that yellow sticky back thing over there because you're deep down sad. This first game is called Broken Veils. I've seen a couple of people play this thing and man, this thing looks really awesome. I'm a big fan of the Little Nightmares gameplay style and it seems like the developers behind Broken Veil are too. This is basically what the game's based on. So yeah, new game, let's go. Uh I think we're about to go game number two. Okay, here we go. <sighs> you see that guy standing there? Did we just mess up 3.8 seconds into this? Hey, hang on a moment. This game looks way better than I thought it would. This is sick, though. So this game is called Broken Veil. It's clearly taken inspiration from the Little Nightmare style of gameplay. And the graphics for this thing, they really do look fantastic. Uh, I guess we're awake. Everyone else sleeping. Apart from this dude here fidgeting around. I'm on the bed. Hey, but wake up right now. What are we trying to do here? There was some creepy guy standing outside. Did you hear that, though? Someone making a coffee or something like that? Hey, we got TVs. Yo, hey, um... Are we good, lady? She sees us. How you doing? Um, she's thinking about something. How do I get this kid to go back to bed? Maybe try asking, though? Maybe she asked, and that's why we're here. All right, so that felt like a game over, if you ask me. We're not supposed to go there, or maybe we are, but we have to find a way to get around that whole situation without alerting her. Check out that window. What are we seeing, kid? Grimy back garden, three and a half week untrimmed grass. I know what you're doing right here, man. Unkept place. So we got to get maybe through this section and maybe not be seen. So first of all, I'm going to go on the lower crouch. Maybe go around the side here. Ooh, okay. So she's watching that white noise. Uh, you don't want to watch anything, though? Click left mouse to press. Turn the TV off. <gasps> okay, we sneak behind. Yo, this don't feel right, though. Hey, she just straight up What the freak? She broke out. She broke out of reality. Hit that button with your toe. That's it, that's it, that's it. So, I'm gonna just stay about... Ooh, a little bit more. Let's stay here. Does she disappear? Right? She fuses with the TV. You see that good stuff, though? What about if I turn the TV back on, can we? Oh, we don't want to. You know, I kind of don't blame you, kid. I also want to get out of this house after seeing that lady's superpower. That's kind of intense. So, we go on through... Pictures on the walls, keeping the plant nice and good. The TVs came back on. Okay, uh, I don't know what we're trying to get through. I mean, the lady wasn't too aggressive with us. You know, she just kind of put us back to bed, I assume, and that's it. Maybe we're yet to see the danger. That's it, kid. Get a nice move on. Yo, you're... Holy crap! <laughs> you buy your legs up in the morning? Woo! Oh, my God. Goes for the run, goes for the run. Yo, that, okay, I gotta, I have to applaud this kid. He's able to generate more force on the slide action than the run. Look at, he's a god, he's a god. I was talking about them having superpowers. We have found out our characters too. We have a room full of boxes in here. Now, you're asking to be climbed up. I see you, I see you right here. We can get at least up there. Mm, not really sure there's much else behind that though. Maybe we should go the other way here. So we get up here. Um, is there something perhaps we're trying to get to over there? Use the left mouse to push, okay? Get the freak out of there. Okay, that gave us a doll head full of pins and stuff like that. Do we want to take this, though? We can't take that. Shift to sprint, it tells me. So that means I might be getting chased from Okay. Oh, wait. He pushed me in the closet. 
Yo, he just locks me away like that. Okay, man, I see. You know how we never see their faces. One thing this game definitely needs is some more sound effects. Like, the suspense that you get from this isn't really much at all. So, we know our guy was chasing us. I had no idea before. This game has potential. So, we push that down. What about if I was to, like, straight up try and hide behind here instead? Maybe he can't see us. If I crouch, hang on a second. The game tells me to sprint. What about if I'm one step ahead of you from sprinting? So, we hear him coming along. How good is this old man's vision? You see his crusty old forehead? Yep, okay. Up, down, left, right to look around? What? What do you mean? I mean, I've been pressing that anyway, so we pushed over that. I don't hear any footsteps. I don't know if he's nearby. That's the thing. Am I safe to go now? Like, I have no idea, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look. He's in there searching. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we get past him. So that must be mom and pop, right? It's his office. So, are we at some kind of orphanage or something like that? I'm not really sure. Hold A to push. You mean, uh, wait, hold up. We can push the door. Come on, kid. You gotta push that door. You see? So, we broke outside. Okay, I see that. Hey, I gotta say, the color palette for this game, this is actually really cool. It looks fantastic. It's got that awesome sort of vibe to it. Would love it with a little bit of sound design, like, you know, ambience to set stuff, uh, some music stuff. But other than that, like, visually and everything else, this is all here, man. This is what we need from a game like this. I like what we're doing. Let's crawl under there. You see that little van? It's got its, like, brake lights on. Uh, slide on through that. Okay. Nope. You don't want a side kit? Where are we trying to get to? We've got little, little ornaments. Maybe this is a playground? Maybe we got to break into the back of that thing. Uh, excuse me, fellas. Um, you know, I need a ride from here. Space to jump. Should we climb in, though? Yes. Yes, we should. We load ourselves back in that thing. Um, uh, we're trying to... They pull on out and they don't know we're in here. So we wanted to break out of wherever we was being kept. What was the reason behind that? What are we trying to get to? Doing that little nightmares thing where it's all vague and you have no idea what's going on. Let's see if the story gets explained as time goes on. Could you barefooted? We made it to some kind of uh, outskirts. I don't know where we are. Do that slide. You get so much speed. Okay, speed run strap figured out already. I'm gonna break down this door. A drain right there. That car. This place is beat up. Graffiti, things like that. Let's try and get through a second. She's out the way. Come on, man. You got the strength. Yo, whoa, look at her faces. Uh, excuse me. Uh, please just tell me where to go. Uh, they don't want to tell me where to go. Oh, my. What the heck? Are you serious right now? Um, jaw action? Oh, my gosh. From one nightmare to another. What the heck? Oh, they're kind of messy. You see their teeth and the enemy design? Okay, we see that. So now... We've been thrown down here. We've got a backpack, something else down there. Maybe a lockpick or something. Take that thing. I hear that key jingle sound effect. Press F to turn on the laser. Mouse to control. Okay. Oh, there's a little key. Oh, we're playing with the cat. Yeah, bud, let's go play here. You see this? You see this? Guide the cat with the laser to reach high spots. There you go, bud. You see the light switch? That's it. You know you want to. You know you want to. Come on. Come on, you stupid cat. Please jump for the freaking thing, please. All right, cat's kind of janky. Let me turn that off for a second. Yeah, this is like a, an underground barrel. We got... Ooh, look at the safe, though. How about we grab the cat to this thing? Oh, cat's not good enough for that thing. Okay, we got to guide him up then. We need him to hit that light switch. I feel like that will help us be able to see more things. Maybe the circuits have... Whoa, okay. I see you. Thank you, kid. Let me turn that off. We'll play again in just a second. What did we get? I, kid, I, what you got, though? What are you trying to do with that? Bring it closer. Is that maybe a handle for this? Like, if we attach that? It is. And now we've got the strength to be able to pull that thing likely. There you go. We got that. Pull it back. That's it. Look how straight that kid's back is. You know when people, like, pull things? You know, they're always, like, you know, back's kind of like this. Like, busted up because they got that weak lower back. This kid's lower back is just trained and ready for this. Thanks for the help, cat. No, I'm taking the laser pointer with me. I kind of had more fun with that than you. Um... What, what is this, guys? Place. Okay, the owner of this place is about to get some action with this. What? Okay, that sounds wrong. I'm gonna shine the laser straight in his eyes. That's what I was trying to say, okay? Your mind is bad, guys, okay? You gotta, you gotta correct that thing. That's all I'm saying. So we have a button here. Do we draw the cat through maybe to uh, come and play with that or not? Let's see if we can pick up the hook. We can indeed. Do we maybe want to throw the button over here? That was my first thought. Okay, good, good job, kid. Press space bar while holding an arm to throw it. Good try, but you missed, man. What the f- what was that? One, two, three. There's no reason why this don't hit, though. Ooh, okay, we get these moving. Cut. Okay, this is suspect bad, guys. I'm just saying, this is a bit of a sussy one. So we got the power to that, but it did not last for very long at all. We need to find a way to uh, maybe get this thing turned on a bit more permanently. So we hit that. It's an insta power off. It's not giving us anything at all to work with here. You see this? Uh... Hold up. I, I just straight up took that down. Uh, is this wise, though? Um, can we untie the knot maybe by the head? We can climb on this. 
but I don't really know what more we can do. We can hop up on top of here. This don't really let us get anywhere else at the moment, so that might come in handy soon enough, but not at the moment. So let's see what else we can find around here. <laughs> It must have been the weight of the bag. So now we see this is moving. Oh, and if it does loops, if we hop on here and just wait nice and patiently, we should be good. Unless we grab the pig's legs, though. Hey, bud, can I grab onto your leg? Okay, go. Um, you know what, kid? Your strats work just fine, don't it? Just, just ignore me, okay? Got the rope. We're drifting on through. Maybe we should, like, hang by our feet or something, you know? Try and match the pigs. Uh, I don't think that's going to work out too well. We go down the conveyor belt and through here. So I'm going to be working through there, though. We should, uh, you know, we should probably let go. I'm hearing that, I'm hearing that. So first of all, I instantly see the knife. Nope. We don't want to collect that. You know what, let's just jump down and survey the lands a little bit. So what are we trying to do? We see we can drag this. There's a little trail along the floor, which goes, looks like to here almost. I don't think that's what it's about though. Would it be as simple? Ooh, wait, no, I see what we do. I see this, so we climb up on there. Look at that making that mince meat, by the way, over there. Holy crap. See this vent here though? Maybe we can break this off. Can we try and pull it off? Come on, kid, you got that underarm strip. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Don't even look at me. That was all on you. What is this? Well, I, I don't even know what that. It looks like a bone or something. Wait, it is a bone. Can we maybe use that like a winch to, uh, you know, tuck it underneath where it's broken? No, don't go throwing that thing. Definitely a bone, though. I can hear the way that thing's kind of rattling around afterwards. Underarm. Let's go along. Let's go. Okay, right next to the pig's corpse. Uh, sorry if that thing comes from you. I know it's a bit morbid, but I gotta get out, man. You didn't get the chance, but I might just have something here, all right, Mr. Pig? Guys, I'm talking to a pig head. Like, there comes a point where you realize you're kind of far gone. I think our kid is right there. We don't need that anymore. Let's get out of this one. Let's try and get our sanity back. <laughs> We're crawling on through this noisy old vent. You know, I am curious as well, though. We have a very small vent, just big enough to fit myself through this small little guy here, and they have a ladder system in there. Why was I made? Oh, yo! Oh my gosh! That's kind of insane! Come on, kid, go! Oh, I don't know if I'm playing this right now. I might be. Okay, we go, we go, we go. Go, 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 that's it, that's it. Oh my god, his head was bouncing. His head was bouncing. Jump, kid, jump! It, it literally would not jump. You actually deserve that. Slide, slide on him. That's how we get the ground. We slide, we slide, okay? You go round the side, round the side. Uh, I might just over the pig's head and get some slide action because we get ground, man. Let's go, let's go. Come on, slide, kid, slide. No, no. Slide. Oh, we got no time. We got no time. Woo! Over the bread, over the bread. Apples, peppers, sausages. We break it all. We break it all. Oh, okay, we're, we're dead now. We broke ourselves, right? Uh, help me, help me, help me. Yes, yes, we made it, we made it. Run, kid, run, through, through. You gotta go, you gotta go. Holy crap. Oh my God, yeah, we're dead. Go, go. Keep it going, keep it going. How do we, how do we get that? Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, straight out the window. And that is the broken veil right there. Okay, I see that. Yo, that was actually kind of cool. That was awesome. Like, the gameplay at times, a little bit clunky. This is a demo, though. You have to remember, guys. Definitely think the game needs a little bit more sound design through some elements just to kind of set that underlying atmosphere. I probably added some drones and things like that just so the environments would feel that little bit more sinister. If those were added, though, I feel like this would be a straight contender for an indie version of Little Nightmares. Broken Veil definitely has a lot of promise as a result, though. I think this is cool. Not a bad experience at all. Anyway, guys, let's go into that game number two. Right after I take my hoodie off because, uh, yeah, this thing's warm. Okay, game number two. I feel like the music player just stopped because I was annoying him by doing that. I do apologize. This second game is called Stranger Never Sleep Again. I believe this might be another home invasion style horror experience, so we're gonna do this that night. That horrible night was where it all began. The phantoms who haunt my terror-infested nightmares. The hollow void that devours me into an empty shell. The endless cold nights is the weeping man. And the scarecrow who stalks away every inch of my sense of well-being. That was the night that ended my sleep forever. All right, try and break the mood and make you feel positive next time, why don't you? Okay, guys, here we go. We're in the game, and uh, I think my game is lagging, so I'm after, yeah, okay. Okay, so what type of game are we actually experiencing here? We've got a light of some kind, we can lean. Wait, was that me? Okay, that's me leaning. Okay, I got it now, I got it. So here we are, we're in a nice apartment. Guys, what is happening? I'm hearing lots of footsteps. Yo, what the heck? I'm actually freaking out. Oh my gosh. What am I trying to do here? There's a man literally. I got doors closing. I got windows. Guys, is this how? Okay, that's a window. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea. I can hit so much movement. 
Guys, what the freak is happening? Whoa, this game just went from 0 to 100. This is the night where everything went down. I opened that door. Hey, killers. Not tonight. Guys, what the heck am I trying to do? Like, I see him. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Do I go? Am I good? If I escape, am I good to go? Can I just leave? Guys, I can't leave. Look at this man. Does this game want to tell me what is going on? Okay, so I assume this is like some kind of stalking game where you see this guy breaking in. If we stand here long enough, do we see him past the window? Let me see, let me see. Looking around, I'm looking around. I don't see him behind me at all. The wagon is so much walking. Constantly. Lean, lean. Yeah, I don't see my man. I don't see him anywhere. There he is, there he is. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Nice and quiet now. Okay, he saw me. Nice and loud, okay. You want to ring your phone or something, bud? You want to try and call someone who might be able to help you? Maybe next time when you go to bed, uh, I don't know, maybe lock your front door. See how that goes next time. I think that might go down a bit better. Who's in, who's in, who's in? I found the room keys. What room keys? Also, why do you not run? Why would you run? Seriously, you walk so slow. What's wrong with your legs? Dude's got a five foot torso and like four inch legs or something. I don't get it. Back in the immersion, so we found the keys. We know where they are. Okay, they randomize locations. Okay, I found the room keys. Does that mean we can seal ourselves in or something like that? Try and go back. This game goes from 0 to 100, guys. Literally 0 to 100. So maybe this is our room. How do we lock the door and seal it though? Press a button. Okay, you're stupid. You've opened the door. Room key? Over here somewhere? I gotta be mindful behind me. The guy is right there. We're in. He's not broken into my house yet this time. You have a lot of windows in your house though, sir. We have the room keys, but I don't think there's any way we can use them. That's my biggest concern at the minute, guys. We can't seal ourselves away. Wait, there's light here. What is this? More keys? Can we- I found the garage keys. We have room keys, garage keys. No. Oh god, oh god. He saw me. Oh god. Oh god. So he knows I'm in here. Is this the garage? Nope, this is a bathroom. We don't want to go in there. Garage, garage, come on. Another bathroom? It's like a three, four bedroom house. So he's seen us in the house and we choose not to move quickly at all. We actually want to make, we want to take our sweet time. Hold out, hold out, hold out. Hold out. Nice and slowly now. This, where's my garage though, dude? Look at this double island setup. What's coming on? What's coming on in? Now we leave. Guys, this is our garage. It's like a workout slash garage area. He knows I'm here. I found the gate key. You know what he found though? He found your, yeah, he found how to, he hit my dumbbell. And I died. He hit my dumbbell. And I then proceeded to die. What about if we peek here? If he sees us through the window. Yo, hang on a second door. You don't betray me like that. Wait. Okay, I opened it. I opened it. There he is. Whoa. So he sneaks around the outside of the house. You have to play this carefully then. We know where he is roughly. Listen up. Because we need to go in that room, I think, to find the other key that we need. He's checking. He's checking. Okay. Do we go through now? Let me just lean. Okay, we've got a clear path here. He can't see through. See nothing on the toilet. I think the other key was actually in the other bathroom. Okay, can he, uh, I see nothing. So we need that second key. Second key will be good if it's in the same space and it isn't at the moment. So we're sneaking around this corner. Um, we gotta try and go through. To pass. We might be good, we might be good. Okay, we're good to go through just about. Check the bathroom. So there's no garage key. We need the garage key and within there, that's where we get the gate key. That's where we get the gate key. It all links up after all. Lean. Come on, I can't see with the lampshade in the way, though. Can't see. Oh, I question where that last key is. It must be over here somewhere, then. Nice and quick now, nice and quick. So, we must be sneaking. That's why we move so slow. He's by the front door. He's really close to the front door. So, we check this room. Come on, man. Come on. Give me something here. Give me something. And the game gave me nothing. Thanks, game. There he goes. He's doing laps, guys. He's literally, he's getting some movement in. Bit of exercise, never hurt anybody, you think? So he goes and gets some movement in. Maybe, maybe he doesn't actually want to kill me. Maybe he just, maybe he just wants to keep me on high alert. Maybe we set this thing up before. Maybe when he opens this door, I won't die. Maybe it will just be a little fun game. You know, maybe I don't have to worry. You know, what I will say is like, you know when people say the new build kind of houses, they're always really badly produced, you know, like you can hear so much noise through them and stuff. I'm actually on board with that, and I think in this occasion, I'm gonna have to thank the architect for making such a crappy, noise-insulated house. I can hear the killer's footsteps so easily, like, props, dude, I appreciate you saving me. I hear him. I hear him in there, or just outside. Wait. I think he's going away. Let me just peek, let me peek. If we lean, I think we should be okay to, like, explore. Okay, we're good. Guys, I might actually try and make a break for it. I think we have everything we need. We just need to go... 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. We might be okay. We might be okay. We might also not be okay. So we got the garage keys. Now we gotta go through here. There they are. So near the bar bows and the bench press, we have our final keys. We'll take that. It's the gate key. That's all we need. Um. I don't hear his feet. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Listen, listen. Once he passes, I'm Owen for the gate. I take that back. I'm taking a slow stroll to the gate. So here he goes. He should be. Wait, what? He broke in! Why did he break in? Hang on a second. We've got no exit. <gasps> what? Wait. Don't come in, don't come in, don't come in. Go away. Go away, man. Go away. Ignore the flashlight, okay? I got some AI crazy robot in this corner. Why did he instantly come for me? The moment I found that, like, he comes through the front door. How are we gonna have time? Okay. That was ha! <laughs> okay, click that the gate key. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. I'm not even gonna wait. Look how far you have to go, though. No other flank roofs. The only way I can go is straight out front. So I have to leave. I just... Straight here. I can hear him. He's going to try and cut me up, though. Wait, do I have to wait for him to break it down or something? And then hide? He breaks the door down. He hasn't seen me, though. Good evening. Yo, this actually... Ma I don't understand this game. Let's try. Found the gate key. I'm just going to go straight to the entrance now, guys. I want to assume... Maybe I just got unlucky. Maybe he spotted me as I was leaving. Okay. Listen. Just listen. I can hear him. He's over there. He's over there. He's over there. All right. He's going to the door. He's going to the door. So wait. Wait. I'm going to hide in this room. Okay. So he's gone past. He's gone past. Now we wait here. He has not seen me before blasting open that door. So I run for the exit. I should be good. He should check the last location of the keys. He should. That is. Okay. I've played this game as good as I can. I've done everything I tried. He's not coming in. He didn't come in. So hold up. We have a chance. We have a chance. Go. You still want to waddle? Are you crazy? Okay, now you start running. Now you start running. Good, good. And then we go. We're out. I left my house. I got out. I got out and I got a screenshot of letters. I survived at a cost. Never again will I go gently into the night. Never again will I close my eyes as the demons await me. Never again will I lay to rest as relentless mental torture floods me. Never will I give myself into the night after that night. Sleep is outside my reality. This music gives me like old school Saw vibes. You know what I'm saying? Like in the outro credits. Like, I, I want to ask like, what, what was wrong with our character to have all those demons and, you know, give those poetic speeches and stuff about sleeping? What, what was the matter? Can we help? You want to just talk to me? I'm not a psychiatrist, but I'll listen, you know. I just, I don't know. I just want to see what's wrong with him. I've never known someone to just write stuff like that and talk to people in that manner. What's wrong with you, huh? It was a cool game once I understood the ending. I wish there was a couple of things that were a bit more clearer and I also wish we could move a little bit quicker. The tension was there though for sure and we got it beat so that's the end of that one. Let's go next game. I love refreshing drinks. This last game is called Experimental Groceries or something like that. It's got such a weird name. No, I'm captivated. It talks about something being off. You've got to figure out what's going wrong and from there on put the pieces together. So I guess it's that evening. We're going to the grocery store. Uh, we must have forgot, I don't know, some milk. Maybe the milk's gone off at home. You know, we don't buy milk very often. You should get that UHT stuff. Maybe it's something else. Maybe I'm just assuming this guy needs milk. I don't know. Do you guys get milk late at night? I don't know. He pulls up to the supermarket. So... Seems like a normal night. You might be the only one here. You're taking these corners very, very slowly as well. Respect for being such a sensible driver in, you know, the nighttime. You don't want to run no one over. Make sure everyone is safe, even though no one exists. So why are you doing this? Yeah, you can you can accelerate a little bit more. Oh, oh, oh yes, yes, that's okay. Finally, we stopped there. That also works just so we can finally play the game. Unless we're an observer on a street. We're actually a creepy guy. Maybe, I don't, guys, I'm trying to think what could be wrong with a supermarket. All we need to do is get some groceries. Shopping list E. We need cola, pizza, and a singular taco. I see the priorities, huh? The priorities. You don't want to, like, buy to stock up, you know, so you don't have to keep coming back. I understand also, so you've parked up in the back of the warehouse. Like, why don't you park near the front of the store? I don't know what you're thinking. I have no idea. So, we're just gonna get some groceries. That's all we're doing here. The supermarket. This must be the place we regularly shop at. Doors open up. There we go. Hey, how's it going, madam? You okay? Quiet night tonight. You probably want to, you know, get someone to stock these shelves. It looks very, very bare. What we got here? Canned food. We after that, we need that cola, pizza, and taco. We don't want a donut, sauce, sauce. Look at all this sauce, though. Just one of each. You get exclusivities when you come to this store. It's really is first come, first serve, huh? Like, you only get one choice. Like, I got the taco. Give me that good stuff. Let's go. 
What happened? Pick up the taco. If we place it there. Okay, we'll let that go down there. Let's get ourselves a drink. A nice beverage, you know? Cola, I see you. Throw that down, so that's good. Thanks for checking out as I'm doing this. And we need the pizza. Where did we see a pizza? Maybe back here? Yeah, hey, security guard, how's it going? And in the frozen, nothing there. I don't want to check back there. There's more tacos, burgers, so... Where are they keeping the pizzas? Maybe they got like a deli counter? They got the cafe, but they have absolutely nothing there. So pizza, probably frozen back there, but I can't even see a pizza. Look at this. Check down these. Ooh. Oh, they give us the pizza slice. There's a, you know, kind of a little bit out there. You know, I didn't know inflation was that bad. Frozen pizzas, they just chop them up into eight pieces and put them in. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, how you doing then, you know? Nice night. Many customers or, uh... All right, listen, I, I know you're probably tired too. It's a long night, okay? So we'll carry our shopping bags and we go back to our car. See you later. Thanks for helping us out. I mean, a nice evening trip to the shopping center. That's what we're doing, right? I always like it when we can do that. You know, no one else in the store. You don't got to compete to get to an aisle quickly. Uh, my car. So we hop in the car. We, we got our groceries. We're, we're fine, right? We're fine. Wait, we're back. Why are we back? We want more. See... This is why you plan ahead for the week, sir. Like, maybe get that rotation right down on a calendar. I might be fancying a beer, donut, and pizza tonight. I don't know. Oh, hold up, hold up. Um, hey, lady. Oh, man. The people coming through? Maybe they bought some things from you and they didn't want to pay up. Uh, I won't be like that, so rest assured. Donut, uh, you know, we'll take the one on the floor, guys. We ain't gonna be picky. Uh, there you go. You know, we'll clear the floor for you, no worries. That's it. Wow. You, dude, look at the donut to forehead ratio. I'm actually impressed at the value we get right there. 98 cents. That's, that's a bargain right there. So you want the beer and also the pizza. These are like beers to me, so we'll take that. Can, we can't take the pizza at the same time. There's a pizza. Oh, it's on the floor as well. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. You know what? We'll still buy it. Sorry about that one. So let's go back and then um, we just get the beer. As always in these games, two apparently sidestepping just makes you much more quicker. So we're going to do that next time. That shouldn't fall off the side and crash, right? Moment of truth. Please don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Ooh, it cuts on straight through. Thanks, lady. Uh, we'll be going then. Uh, take care. I don't know what the heck happened the other day. It's almost a came in really and I had a good shopping experience. First warning sign. We've now seen it. Someone breaking down the doors for some reason. Whatever that might be. I don't know. Maybe it would actually pay to check the back of the area on this night. I mean, looking through, things look okay. Railing's a bit busted, but that's it. Oh, they laid the second door out flat. What do we even want tonight? Donut, sauce, and taco. Hey, lady, uh, what's with this uh, thing right there? Hold up. So we got cans looking empty. Okay, there's the donut. Next up, we wanted the sauce, right? Which is usually over here. Mustard. Uh, let's yes. go some tomato. That one on there. And our last one. So we got the sauce. We just simply want a taco. You know, whoa, we're going back here to find that taco. But let's just take a little peek through there. I don't see no demons. That plant's been knocked over though in that corner. Ah, yes, I've got my taco. Uh, just gonna take the long way around and enjoy my views and let's see if there's anything through there that looks weird. I don't see nothing. Maybe it's good. Hey, taco, what are you seeing through there? Look, put the taco in there. We should have installed the camera in there. We would have got through, been seeing the vision on the other side, but we didn't think ahead that far. Yeah, I mean, I'd kind of get annoyed too if I kept turning up to the cafe and there was just never anyone there. I don't know, though. Maybe this is a bit too far. We're seeing more and more destruction happen. And this lady's the only person that doesn't really seem to be affected by what's happened. So uh, take the shopping bags. See ya. Get me out of here, man. I want to leave this place. It's getting worse and worse. I'm glad I'm the nighttime customer, you know? We're coming in the day. We'll be seeing all this commotion going down. Okay. Hey. Hang on. Manager put the money back into the store. Well, at least the, the doors. Hello. Hey. Late. Ma'am? You good? No. Well, I mean, I, I can tell, to be honest. Wait, what do we want from this place? Ooh, this, this ambience kind of hit me. Like, I'm actually feeling the fear here. You might want to leave. Maybe go to a doctor's about that. Brainwash to work here. Do nothing but that. We see this door with the illumination. That's a weird door. You see the way that thing's framed up? Check in the back. The back area is fine. It's like a wooded door. So keep turning up. Try and figure out the mystery. Let's go. What the? It's like a server room. There's another guy here. Hey, fella, how you do- ah! Yo, he's gone. Look at that. Camera was face down on him, so whatever that camera saw, it must have been able to tell what was happening. Was this all an experiment then? These people have been put into bad situations. The test subject's portfolio, user H104. Haven't noticed anything of paranormal phenomenon yet. The race is a human, unemployed single, has a driving license. <laughs> Hang on a moment. This is starting to sound like us. Discovered during the experiment, favorite products, pe beer, pizza, donuts, has not bought prescribed products, has not used the toilet, has bought nine products total. Hold on. What the heck? Someone's been observing me whilst I do my shops. Was it you? You know what? You deserve to be looking like that. I can't believe it. This place is a gimmick. All I do when I came here, I want my beer and I want other things and that's it. 
I don't want no other fuss. And yet, look at this. I can't even just shop right now. Can I, ma'am, can I please have that, though? Um, we're gonna... We can't leave. Hold on, what's this? What's this? You see? Hang on, ma'am. We'll, uh, we'll be right back. Let me try and get to the bottom of this. So we have the server room over there. They were monitoring us to test subjects. They bust back. They bust back. Why is this actually building a bit of tension for me? I'm kind of nervous. Like, oh. Ooh. Whoa, look at my man in the, in the, the costume. Look. Site 23 employee guidelines. Keep track of the latest subject at all times. The room must not be visited by regular staff. The team is restricted from leaving the site during experiment phase. You must comply with your supervisor's commands. Violation of these rules will get you executed. Toilet, toilet. Ma'am. I asked if you were good. You look okay. That actually made my heart jump a little bit. We can't leave the back and get to our car. Yo, I actually don't want to go out here. I'm actually kind of nervous right now. Let's go over here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. She's still there. We're going to take the long way around. Okay. Okay. All right, game. You've done it now. I feel you. I feel you. So, go in here again. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, this was not here last time. They broke out. They broke out. Look at these. Open. I shouldn't be doing this. I've learned my lesson with opening bathroom stores. We're good on this occasion, but guys, listen. If a game, a horror game has bathroom stores, just be quiet. Yeah, you probably don't want to, uh, you know, try it. Can't open the door. What are we trying to do? Push. Push. That's it, that's it, that's it. Move it. Oh, we do the breaking out. We do the breaking out. Let's escape this. We will come fine before. Not anymore. Look at us. Let's go check that front store. There's something over there. We see in this? It might, oh, no, that's just a traffic cone, so we can't go back through. Whoa, this is getting noisy. Hang on a moment. Let's check around the side here. Any demons back here, huh? We're still confined to the testing area. Okay, we're going to my car, guys. I'm going to my car. What was the significance of the lady then? Um, I don't know much about her as a character. I'm very curious. It says get out. Get out, you say? So we drove out knowing that we were some kind of test subject or something? Here we go. This is us breaking out. Yeah, that's it. Put your foot down on the accelerator. The end. We don't want to talk about all that crap that was happening. Like, you know, all the dead bodies and the, the weird lady that kind of appeared out of nowhere. No follow up with who she was or what she was trying to do. It don't seem like it, but look at that. We break down. We were confined. Oh, okay. Maybe we don't need no explanation. Maybe the only explanation we need is that we're on the high road right now. You know, I really want to restart the game. I want to go from the beginning. What about if we don't go into the store, but go all the way around to the left? Maybe we can see the server room. I just want to see if they included that detail. Ah, they gate it off, so we can't actually go back there before. How about that? At the start of the game, guys, you can't figure out that something is wrong right off the bat. You just gotta go through the nights and then begin to explore and figure things out as they go. All right then, man, well, that is gonna do it for this episode of Three Random Games, guys. These were sick games as usual. You can find links to all of the games down below as well if you do wanna play these things for yourself. Hopefully as well, you guys do enjoy again at that lesser edited style with this one. I'm gonna try and keep pace with that. Maybe I'll actually kind of base the way I edit the videos on how I'm feeling for the day, or really, if I just wanna go for like longer videos, because I am still to really enjoy the three random games being those 30 plus minute episodes or at least close to 30 minutes you know either way though guys that's gonna be it for this one this was another episode of three random games and i really hope you did enjoy if you did why not drop me that like rating? and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here so thanks so much for watching this video guys of course i hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one